am red, um, with cool red, so that basically means I think with my head and make critical judgments as to just life in general, but I think due to this course, I think that's uh, drastically changed. I work well with people. Like, I understand how everybody's feeling, so I can get a good feel of the group and how we're going to work together, and I can also keep everybody on track and organized. We butt heads a lot. <laughs> We, we work really well together. We're, we're in a team a lot of the time and we've really learned to work together as well as with Nikki who's, you know, a yellow. So mm -hmm. in the end we really have learned to, you know, take all those colors and come out of it with really good projects. I think our last one was in 98. In school, we don't butt heads as much as we do out <laughs> so You try to understand their colors more and then you can work with that. And I've applied it to my life. I analyze everything. I, you know what I mean? I, I validate everything now. and. Not that I didn't do it before, but I, I find myself doing it more so now that I know what my color is and uh, try to get along with everybody else because then I get a better understanding of who they are. Personally, uh, the 40i for me was certainly revealing in that I definitely prefer the creative thinking skills. Uh, so I, I feel very comfortable in bringing my creative uh, green to the table in management meetings. From a management standpoint and running a very large organization with multi-campuses throughout Simcoe County, um, it has allowed us to tap into the talents of every staff member and clearly uh, our meeting efficiency, uh, efficiency has dramatically improved. So we've cut our meeting time in half. I find it helps me to better respect the other colors because um, normally um, red or green people would tick me off and I wouldn't be able to work with them, but since I've learned what it means to be red or green, I can work better with them in the group. Right. Yeah, it really the, the is. level of respect, yeah. and since we've been learned about the smart skills of one of a lot, like I was here last semester as well, and I would just, you know, come into my class, sit in a row with people that I didn't really converse with during the whole class, or the whole course of the class, and during this, semester after learning the smart skills and with Stacy um, implementing the smart skills into our classes so much I feel that you know I really have a level of respect from people and for people. I, I found that the uh, learning the GLS 4D and that I'm a balanced red gives me a far better understanding as to how in the past in careers that I've had I've worked well by being able to move between green, yellow and red evenly. I'd have to say that it's learning to step outside of, you know, what you are and being able to to change into a green or yellow or a red if you're not a red and being able to, you know, really look at things from the other perspective. It's not all just about making the decision right away. You really have to learn to do the other things too. We all have skills, different skills in different ways, but we, we, we don't know that. We never knew how to apply them before. So with the Smart Skills program, it just brings it we didn't have a name for them. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So it brings us, I know you can apply them because you're aware of it, right? So it, it's it's awesome. It's you learn so much. You learn so much how to get along with other people, and there's so much less conflict. Yeah. Certainly, smart skills, and as you have said, on a personal level and and at work, and really our job, our passion is education and seeing success in students and with students. And probably the most uh, moving and the most uh, heartwarming is the fact that we have taught students and they have taught us as staff to really work through a process that is efficient, is effective, and really involves everybody equally. And as a result, it doesn't matter what our issue is or what our problem is or what our uh, content has to be. We can actually engage every single member of a team and put, really have, I mean, very powerful, engaging um, discussions that truly lead us to a better place. You might not like everyone in the class, but I respect everyone in this class, and I really think they feel the same way towards me, and that's really important because we can all work together a lot better. We've all learned to be able to work together and to respect each other's opinion, even if, you know, there's five reds sitting together going, I'm right, you're wrong. <laughs> and, and this is now something that I have taken and I analyzed very thoroughly through the GLS program, 
and it gave me a better understanding of the people that I was in class with, the people I have formerly worked with, why, why did I do well with them, why am I doing well now. Not even more or less in a classroom setting, it allows us to take the skills that we've been taught and apply them to real life situations. It's pretty surreal how it works, how it's just coming here to get it done, to get it over with, go back into the workforce, to going into a commercial flying course at Seneca, it's two different, you know I mean, it's, I came in here thinking, you know, I was going to do this, but I'm really coming out doing something a lot larger than that, having a, lar a lot larger outlook and better feel for life, right? So if you terms of education, what that means, our got number one goal is to improve student achievement. And I would say smart skills involved in our GLS program and our GLN program and probably throughout all our courses has definitely focused on those key skills in helping students get to the next place. And what we know today is that we don't know where and what tomorrow will bring, but we do know the skills that's going to help us navigate those interesting waters.